My name is Bob Kaywood, and I'm the owner of the Lost American Art Gallery and Museum. And uh, I've been collecting probably for over 50 years. Uh, I'm 85 now, but uh, I've been buying and been very, very lucky to pick up some fantastic collections of stuff. Uh, this happens to be from Borrego Pass Trading Post, and at one time, uh, the owner of the trading post was a guy named Don Smouse. He had a contract with the National Park Services from 1930 to 1939. And when the war started, World War II, they canceled his contract. So if you went to Grand Canyon or Yellowstone or somewhere and went into a gift shop and they had Indian jewelry there, chances are it came from his trading post. And he had at one time 60 Indians that worked for him there at that trading post. And he built a great big Hogan and had all the benches and stuff in there. And the Indians would come in a horseback. They would tie up in a big corral in the back and they would stay there for maybe a week or two weeks and then they would ride home on the weekends or whatever. But they hammered all of this out and he was probably the biggest producer of in the 30s of any any trading post in the whole Navajo reservation. Now here's some of the stuff that I have that came from his trading post and we'll start with this bracelet and uh, it's got the little kachina dolls on it and the stones on it. It's heavy silver and this has got an initial in the back of it and this one was made by Irene Nez and her father Irene made this one and Lillian Nez made the concho belt. And these were all made back in about 1932 or 31. And it's got a little kachina doll in each buckle or each concho. And um, there's a ton of work in it and they're all beautiful little Persian turquoise. And then he had a, this is, this is Lillian Nez and this is Jim Nez, this is a father. And he was mentioned in the Adair book in 1920, 1928 as one of the Navajo silversmiths at that time. So that's how far back he was uh, hammering and making silver or making jewelry. And this is a, a place setting. It's a 16 piece place setting. And there's the little teaspoon or, or sugar spoon. And spoon. anyway, it's got a, it's got a, all, every bit of it's in a shadow box piece of sterling silver. And it's signed on the back uh, Jim Nez and this is this is actually his signature or his stamp and this is the only piece in all the history of Jim Nez's working that we got him to put his initial on this on this uh, piece of uh, uh, dinnerware set and uh, he he was probably when he made this he had to be in his middle 80s. It took him over about eight or nine months to build all of it. It's all got a shadow box and a little stone in the middle of it. And it's fabulous. It's probably, it's probably the most impressive piece of dinnerware set that I've ever seen that come off the Navajo Reservation. And um, there's nothing to compare it with really. So anyway, it's, uh, it's, in, it's in the museum, but a lot of stuff now, because of my age, I'm starting to sell off a lot of the stuff that come out of my museum. So if somebody is interested, they can contact me at uh, uh, Box uh, 6 in Millerville, Alberta. And uh, the postal code's TOL1KO. And if you want a phone, it's 403 931 1640. So anyway, if there's any interest, well, you can contact me that way.